Thank you all, uh, Ramadan Kareem, to everybody here. Um, I, I like to consider myself an honorary Stark King grad because Rosemary was uh, my first professor of a Unitarian Universalist history and polity class at Union Theological Seminary. So, yes, you took her from us, but it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> but you came over this one, it's so it's okay. So I would like to begin um, with a reading of a surah from the Quran, um, al Inshira, which is also um, known as the opening for. So let me find it. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Have we not opened your breast for you? and removed from you your burden, which weighed down your back, and raised high your fame. So verily, with hardship, there is also ease. With hardship, there is also ease. So when you have finished then rise up for worship for Allah, and to Allah alone turn your intentions and your work. This surah is said to have been revealed to the Prophet Muhammad when he was first teaching his lessons in Medina, or in Mecca, excuse me. And he was encountering great hardship in Mecca as a teacher there because he was teaching lessons of the oneness of the divine. And he was teaching lessons of economic justice to a community that did not want to hear it. Mm -hmm. And as a result, they were punishing him and his followers and his family to the extent that his wife Khadija eventually died. Mm -hmm. They were encountering significant hardship through all of the work that he was doing. And this verse is said to have come down in that time. And so when I think about this verse, and particularly that phrase, through hardship there is also ease. I think about the times that we are in. Just in this past week, just in the last two weeks, we have seen so much hardship in our world. From decisions coming in Baltimore where there has been no indictment for the murder of Freddie Gray, to the loss of the lives in the Pulse Club, the loss of Latinx people of color, to the continuing murder of transgender people of color, to so much that is happening in the world, it can seem like we cannot make it through this hardship. Even within our own lives, sometimes we experience that traumatic loss and we don't think we can make it. We don't know where to turn. Through hardship, there is also ease. And that ease, in this verse, we are reminded, as Jeremiah so wonderfully reminded, remem reminded us, actually, yes, that there are sources of ease, whether we call them God, beloved, community, those sources of ease come in the people who are willing to be with you in those moments. Those sources of ease come in the people who are willing to be in solidarity with the people who are being killed in the streets, with the people whose lives are threatened every day the moment they walk out the door. That ease comes in knowing that there is a divine impulse for justice and that each one of us carries it in our hearts. And Ramadan, as Jeremiah had shared, is a reminder of that. When we take the time to remember that we have such strength within us, that we can persevere throughout the day when we are not eating, when, I admit I've been drinking water because it's GA, but when we are not drinking, we know that there is something within us and something beyond us that continues to sustain us. And Ramadan, provides us with that reminder of that ease, and then invites us to turn it to others. Reminds us of our strength, and reminds us to turn it to others. And 
So with that, I'd like to now invite Reverend Summer of Ayati to call us to prayer so that we can turn and remind ourselves of all that sustains us.